Have you ever wondered what made Alexander so great? Let's journey back in time to the year 356 before the Common Era, to the Kingdom of Macedon. This is where our story begins, with the birth of a boy named Alexander to King Philip II and Queen Olympias. The political climate of Macedonia during this time was tense and volatile, a crucible that would shape the future conqueror. Alexander's parents, each influential in their own right, played pivotal roles in his upbringing. His father, a renowned warrior king, and his mother, a fiercely ambitious queen, instilled in him the values of courage, ambition, and cunning. Under the tutelage of the legendary philosopher Aristotle, Alexander was educated not just in academics, but in the art of leadership and strategy. Even at a young age, he displayed remarkable leadership skills and an insatiable ambition that hinted at his future greatness. Indeed, Alexander was not just born into greatness, but molded by it from an early age. With the throne under his feet, a young Alexander embarked on a mission that would carve his name in history forever. Ascending to the throne after the assassination of his father, King Philip II of Macedon, Alexander's reign was marked by a series of relentless campaigns and conquests that stretched from Greece to Egypt and as far as India. Within a short span, he had overthrown the mighty Persian Empire, making him the pharaoh of Egypt and the king of Asia. His military strategies were unparalleled, combining speed, surprise and superior cavalry tactics to outmaneuver his enemies. His daring tactics and decisive victories like the Battle of Gogamela where he defeated King Darius III of Persia are still studied in military academies today. Yet, it wasn't just about conquest for Alexander. He was a student of Aristotle and valued knowledge and culture. As he marched across continents, he spread Greek culture, language and ideas in what came to be known as Hellenization. He established cities, many named after him, fostering an exchange of cultures and ideas. But his hunger for conquest was insatiable. He pushed his army to their limits, marching them across deserts, mountains and rivers in his quest to conquer the known world. His reign was brief but impactful. In just a decade, Alexander had forged one of the largest empires the world had ever seen. But what remains of Alexander's grand empire and his larger-than-life persona, you may ask? Well, the aftermath of Alexander's death saw his colossal empire crumble, his once loyal generals embroiled in a bitter struggle for power, each carving out their own territories from the remnants of his conquests. Yet, the legacy of Alexander is far more enduring than the fleeting existence of his empire. His influence echoed throughout the ages, seen most prominently in the widespread diffusion of Hellenistic culture across his former dominions. A fusion of Greek and Eastern elements. This culture left profound imprints on the arts, science, religion and philosophy that can still be felt today. Moreover, Alexander's penchant for founding cities, most notably Alexandria in Egypt, fostered the growth of urban life and trade, further spreading Hellenistic influence. These cities, built in his honor, often served as centers of learning and hubs of cultural exchange, thus ensuring the survival of his legacy. However, Alexander's life is not just a tale of cultural diffusion and city founding. It is also a source of enduring fascination, sparking debates among historians and scholars. Was he a ruthless tyrant, drunk on power and conquest, or a visionary leader, driven by a desire to unite the world under a single harmonious rule? These questions continue to captivate us, adding layers of complexity to our understanding of this influential figure. Whether seen as a ruthless conqueror or a visionary leader, Alexander the Great left an indelible mark on history that continues to fascinate us to this day.